New South Wales has a diverse range of native forests that occur on both public and private land. These forests have a large range of important values, such as conservation of biodiversity and cultural heritage, as well as for producing timber. Some forests are managed mainly for conservation, whilst others are managed primarily for timber production. About a third of New South Wales native forests are privately owned. Many of these forests are managed for timber production. This is vital to the state's supply of timber as private forests currently supply about half the state's demand for hardwood. Private native forestry is important to the New South Wales economy and the prosperity of many rural communities. It directly employs around 1,800 people and is worth up to about $250 million per year to the economy. Private native forests are not just an important source of timber. If private native forests that are used for timber production are well managed, they can provide a full suite of values. Some of these include wildlife habitat and biodiversity, clean water and healthy catchments, carbon storage, visual amenity, Aboriginal and heritage values, grazing, fuel wood and charcoal, various products such as honey, essential oils, seed, bush foods and medicines, recreation and tourism. Many private native forests have a long history of timber harvesting, dating back to settlement. The timber industry has changed greatly during that time, from the axe and bullock team days of yesteryear to the modern harvesting methods of today. There are some areas where native forests were cleared for agriculture many years ago, but have now regrown into forest. Many of these areas now require active management, such as thinning, to ensure they grow into productive and ecologically healthy forests. Until recently, Harvesting of private native forests was largely unregulated, resulting in a range of standards and outcomes. In some cases, the harvesting was poorly planned and implemented. This left forests in a degraded state with soil erosion, sediment in our waterways, changed species composition and poor habitat values. Private native forestry is defined as the sustainable management of native forest on privately owned land for the purposes of obtaining forest products. The New South Wales Government is committed to the principles of ecologically sustainable forest management for private land. This means managing forests so that they are sustained in perpetuity for the benefit of society, by ensuring that the values of forests are not lost or degraded for future generations. It brings together the environmental, social and economic values of forests. In line with these principles, in August 2007, the Private Native Forestry Code of Practice was introduced under the Native Vegetation Act 2003. The Private Native Forestry Code, referred to as the PNF Code in this video, applies to all native forestry on private land and sets a standard for private native forestry operations. The state is covered by four PNF Code areas, Northern, Southern, River Redgum, and cypress and western hardwood forests. It is a requirement for landholders to obtain approval before conducting private native forestry. The code also requires landholders, contractors and operators to comply with a suite of operational standards. They include measures to protect biodiversity, soils and water quality. There are also standards for planning of forestry operations and silviculture which is the growing and management of trees and the long-term maintenance of forest structure. The New South Wales Government is keen to help landholders improve the management of forests so that they continue to be productive as well as ecologically healthy in the future and to assist them in complying with the requirements of the PNF Code. This is done in a range of ways, including advising landholders, contractors and operators on the requirements of the PNF Code and the approval process, providing information with a range of explanatory brochures and documents, as well as through the department's website, and giving feedback to landholders, contractors and operators on their forestry operations. Good long-term planning and management of native forests provide the best 
and only way to maximise the benefits of native forests. If you have any questions, go to the department's website or call your local private native forestry officer.